Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Thursday, the 18th of July, 2024. Um, let me put it this way. This is going to be an important Daily Wrap, all right, for a couple of reasons. Basically, both games that I played today, um, at one point, were really popular and or were really bringing in attention and support. And today kind of was eye-opening for multiple different reasons. So let's get right into it. Um, we need to figure out what to do moving forward. Podcast today was loaded with stuff. Talked about my day off, talked about game news, hung out with the audience. It was a pretty good one. I also had to do laundry because Jasper had barfed all over the sheets in the morning. And my wife was not home today. So I was running and constantly having to uh, get the sheets to wash. Uneven load kept hitting the stupid uh, washer. Because I had to wash not only the sheets, but the mattress pad as well, because he had really gone to town on the bed this morning. Uh, so that was pretty, it was a pretty funny podcast in that regard. Um, but outside of that, we went into Street Fighter VI today. Now, <clears throat> here's the deal with Street Fighter VI. I've been playing with Bison for a month now, like ever since he came out. Not even, not a month yet, close to a month, right? It was the end of June when he came out. He's still by far my best character. I actually think like I'm better with him than any other character. I'm hanging around that 1500 points you know i'm like 1550 to 1580 it goes up and down amount of ranking points with this character um today was the worst stream i've done with him not because of wins and losses because of the quality of gameplay that capcom has created at the master level sadly what capcom did is they made easy mode characters in street fighter 6 where if you just learn a pattern you can get to master and basically hang around there um there's no intelligence to these people who play they're dumb I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, personally insult them. Their gameplay is really dumb. It's just, they know a pattern, they execute it perfectly, they win. Or they guess right, they win. If they make a mistake, you win. If you can stop the pattern without making a mistake, like one dropped input, you'll win. But it's a gamble. So when you play these people, you're literally, like, rolling the dice and gambling at a casino. You're not really playing a fighting game. You're doing a mini game that's boring, okay? And it will be one thing if Ken and Cammy weren't so prominent but to give you an example today i played for three hours i kid you not probably 80 to 85 percent of my matches today were either cami ken akuma or bison actually there was far less bison today there was way more camis way more kens and akumas than anything else and when i'm playing for three hours and i'm playing a good amount of people and the vast majority of matches are exactly the same it's boring it doesn't even matter if I win or lose. It's just boring. When you watch Street Fighter, you're expecting, oh man, there's going to be some Blancas, some Hondas, some Dahl seams in there, some JPs, some Kimberleys, some Jamies, some Giles, some Juries. So, you know, I can keep going. Just think about how many characters are in this game. We fought the same four characters. Actually, today it was three. We fought the same three characters for like two and a half out of three hours. It was so fucking boring. At the master level and this is what capcom has created by making the game too easy to play at that level for scrubs it's capcom's fault it's not the player's fault the players have found a way to essentially get to the master level and stay around 1500 points by playing this easy mode pattern no actual knowledge of how to play fighting games no fundamentals at all just play the pattern and get wins against half the time because it's gambling again it's just guessing gambling um it's shitty you know top players will not do it on purpose they know they could but they know that it, it cheapens the game to play like that so they don't they actually try to play with intelligence and mix up skill and do uniquenesses the best way i can describe it is this back in the day when you played street fighter okay everyone had a unique way to play the character that they were the best with right you one blanca would be hyper aggressive jumping around comboing you Another Blanca would be more defensive, staying back and trying to trick you into doing counter hits and setups. Then you'd have a Dalsim, right, who would just be all projectiles. Then you'd have another one who actually would do different little throw ticks and traps and things instead. You'd have a Chun-Li that's ultra-aggressive jumping around, then one that would stay back and just throw fireballs. You could do that in old Street Fighter. In Street Fighter VI, literally every fucking person plays Ken and Kami identically because that's what wins. That's the meta, and that's sad because it makes the game boring. It's exactly what happened to Street Fighter V, 
Every character was played like that in Street Fighter V. That's why Street Fighter V was by far the worst, most boring Street Fighter ever made. But in Street Fighter VI, at least when you're not talking Ken or Kami and to some extent Akuma, there's variety in the gameplay. Take a look at when I'm playing Bison. I'm trying to innovate and do different things. I'm purposefully trying to do setups with head stomps, the double reverse, different tricks than what the pros are doing. I know what the pros are doing. I know how effective it is. I could play exactly like that. I don't want to. I'm trying to learn other things that will innovate and make my gameplay feel different from what the pros are doing. I just don't want to copy them every game. I want to actually improve upon it or maybe do something different that people don't expect. That's not what these people do online at Master. They literally get to Master with Ken and Cammy, and they just do the pattern and they're, they'll never get higher rank. Like they never will get past like 1500 or so points. But I guess they don't care. I guess when you're ignorant of to what fighting games is supposed to be, you just don't care. You just sit there sitting at master and think that you're hot shit or something. The problem is someone like me, who only gets to play this game two, three times a week, doesn't get to invest a ton of time into it. I get stuck playing these people endlessly. Endlessly. And then when I do get a few good matches, like there was a really good Ed today. There was a really good Jamie today. There was actually a match with a Zangief. We double, we got double KO. In the end of the match, it was a double KO. We, it was like, what? Seriously? He won run around. I won the second. The third was double KO. Like, I've never seen that before. The match just ended with no winner. I was like, huh? So there's some stuff there that was really neat. The problem was that was like 10% of my stream. The rest was insane boredom because these people suck. And Capcom made the game too easy for these people to get there and just sit there like a lump and not learn Street Fighter. So I can't fix that. And it doesn't matter who I use. Whether it's Bison or Blanca, or somebody else, Honda, they're, I'm going to face the same thing. Every time I play master level rank, it's going to be the same. I don't play enough to get past the level I'm at in any regular fashion. Like, for example, if I really grinded with, with Bison for two, three more months, I'd probably reach 1,600, 1,700 points and stay there because then I'd be past that level of scroll. The problem is I don't play enough. Only playing this two, three times a week, I'm not playing enough to get enough points to get past it. I'm just not. I would have to get a day where I get lucky and I don't play those fucking stupid pattern players and I play like 10 good people in a row and I'd gain points and then I'd be out of there. But I don't have that kind of luck. I always end up facing a zillion Kamis and Kens and Akumas and you can't get past it. It's just boring as dirt. I actually like, it's it's actually getting to the point where it's annoying. Like I don't want to play anymore because I don't want to fight those three characters. I fought them too much. It's boring as shit. It's just not entertaining to play nor for you to watch. So, this not only constituted a stream that really wasn't very fun, it also, again, was a second straight Street Fighter stream that was not well supported. I didn't even hit 30, 30 bucks in tips. Um, very few Super Chats. I don't even think we got a, a new member today. Nothing. At all. So now, I put all this effort into trying to get better at Street Fighter, because that was the discussion we had a couple months ago, was the only way I'm going to get better is to focus on one character. I've now played Bison for like 25 hours. I've gotten good with him. I'm I'm definitely getting better and improving. And now the attendance and support has fallen off and the fun is gone. So what do I do? You know, I feel like I'm a, between a rock and a hard place. If I play too many variety of characters, I never get good enough to hang with anyone, right? I just get spanked constantly at master. So I hit master and it's a waste of time. Now I'm stuck and I can't have fun with the character. If I play enough with a character to do well, now we're faced with the fact that Capcom fucked up, made it too easy to abuse certain strategies with these characters, and now you have morons, scrubs, dominating a master rank that's boring as shit to play in and watch. So I can't fix the game. Like, the problem now is the game itself, not me. I, I You know what I mean? Unless I literally play Street Fighter every day for two weeks straight, I'm not going to get out of this ranking. I'm going to be stuck. And yeah... It makes it even more frustrating when this is my first stream of the week and it's a dud, you know, when it comes to people, usually you get more viewers, less viewers today and support was pretty dead. So I don't know what to do to fix that. You know, like I want feedback. I don't know what you think I could do to fix it if I even could, but yeah, it was pretty disheartening. Now to make matters even worse, <clears throat> tonight was a late night chill stream in Stardew Valley. And this typically was the stream that we would do after a stressful day and have fun. And we did, by the way. It was two hours of fun. Lots of progress. It's the fall now. We planted all new crops, started harvesting them. Got really deep in the mine. We're actually past level 100 now. I think we're like 105, and we're almost to the bottom, which apparently is level 120. We're seeing new things in the mine. That's cool. 
uh, completing community quests. Actually got to do my first fishing trip, which was nice because we hadn't fished at all in the fall so far. So we got stuff done, but awful support again. And this is the first Stardew stream where we didn't even come close to hitting a tier one tip skull. Super chats, not even good. And zero members. So we went from Stardew Valley being my most supported streams of the week. Like, no exaggeration. People were coming out and drove saying, wow, this is great. Phil's playing this. We've all loved it for seven, eight years. And now it's cool to see him finally play it. And, and it's faded away. And I don't know why. People haven't said the gameplay is bad. People haven't said my commentary is bad. People seem to like hanging out with me. <clears throat> so what happened? It's nothing that I've changed, okay? Um, and before someone said, oh, it was only one person, completely false. In fact, there was one person who was very supportive of this the first week. And they tipped a bunch, and they actually got into like a, a cheer war. And then they have been gone and haven't even attended a Stardew stream in like two to three weeks. So that's baloney. But it is, I don't know what to, I think you, you want my opinion. People like it, but the appeal of it being new is gone. People just think now it's just going to be a staple of the schedule no matter what. So they don't really worry too much about it. And quite frankly, yeah, you know, this happens with almost every game that I get 20, 30 hours into. People kind of get feel like it's samey, right? And then it's like, well, what, what, realistically, what new stuff is happening in Stardew? Nothing. Fishing, there's mining, there's combat, there's farming. Yes, there's more stuff to do, apparently. But the game is so heavy on micromanagement, it may be dozens of hours before I get to do new stuff, right? So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I still like it. I would like to keep it in the rotation, but I can't play it two, three times a week if I'm going to make, you know, 20 bucks all night. I just can't. I know I have to do things on my streams that are going to pay the bills. So I can make a living. Uh, today was not a very good day at all for that. Like, like, I feel like today was very disheartening in that regard, and I need feedback on what to do. Should I reduce the amount I play Street Fighter? I moved Street Fighter to day stream so we can make more progress with Bison. Do I just move it back exclusively to night streams again? Do I now balance day streams as different games? <clears throat> because we're going to finish uh, Riven this week. So maybe I have a balance between Street Fighter and, and Stardew. And even maybe not Stardew. Maybe only once a week I play Stardew. And we start something else at night that I balance with Street Fighter. And then the day streams could be other stuff. Tomorrow there will be something new which we're going to talk about in a second. But I really need feedback right now. I'm nervous. I can't have all of a sudden, out of nowhere, all my support dry up because people are upset with the games or whatever. I didn't do anything. There's no drama going on. No one's upset with me as far as I know. But nothing's changed. Maybe it's just one bad day. And if that's the case, fine. But this is now two straight streams of Street Fighter that have been like this. Okay? So that's starting to, to now establish a pattern. And that's what makes me nervous. This is the first time this happened with Stardew. Is this going to continue to happen with Stardew? I don't know. So I would love feedback on what's going on. And if you have suggestions for improvement or suggestions of something to do different, let me know. Let's talk about tomorrow because tomorrow is a brand new day. Listen to this. Podcast in the morning. And then we're doing this new game, Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess. It just it came with coming out on Game Pass. I just downloaded it on my console. It's ready to go for tomorrow. So we're going to check this out and see if it's any good. I really don't know much about it besides it apparently has very beautiful graphics. Um, which obviously I'm excited to explore on the Xbox now that I'm playing at 4K resolution and everything. I want to see how that's going to pan out and, you know, hopefully it's a good game. Apparently strategy action with, with like Japanese culture. It's got yokai ghosts and stuff or demons or something. I don't know, but it looks interesting. It looks unique. So I hope that you guys will come by for the premiere stream tomorrow and enjoy it and hopefully support it. But uh, tomorrow night, we're doing something different with Friday Night Fights. Brian is returning for our third ever Street Fighter Six lobby. It's going to be fun. I'm going to try to get the Discord chat going again. This time around, supposedly, you could do it right on the uh, PlayStation 5 console. I'm not sure how. I might have to look it up because I guess they changed it since the last time I did it. But we're going to do a lobby where we go through all the different characters. Um, <clears throat> no, I'm not just going to play with Bison. In fact, I want to use Bison against him. I want to see how I fare with my Bison against Brian. But I want to use my other characters as well. You know, this will be a good opportunity, finally, for the first time in a month, to play as all my other characters again. So it should be fun. And I hope that you guys will join me for that. It should be a good time uh, tomorrow night on the late stream, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. Hopefully people will come and support it. I mean, it's variety now. It's not just Bison. So the excuse is that, oh, we're tired of Bison. We're tired of the same rank. It's going to be different. So I hope that you'll come by for that. Okay? So tomorrow, two new things in the mix that are very, very different. But I need feedback on what to do. You know, we're going to finish 
Elden Ring DLC probably Saturday, if not one more stream to beat that boss. We're finishing Riven probably Saturday night. I am bringing Fallout 4 back to the mix, but we don't know if I should do a day or night stream for that. Um, maybe, maybe it should be, you know, Street Fighter at night again. I don't know. No, I'm, I am. I'm disheartened. I thought that we were doing good. I thought we were making progress. And today, to see that people were kind of just annoyed, me too, at the fact that it's the same fights over and over and Capcom is not really giving a shit about this. Uh, I don't know how they could not admit it's a problem when you play all the same fighters over and over, the same characters. It's a game with like 30 characters, right? 20-something? or is it... And this is what you have to do. Fight the same guy over and over because the fucking everyone picks the same character because the game's too easy with those characters. It's dumb. <clears throat> So, anyway, let me know, and, uh, and we'll go from there. By the way, there is a chance that the Capcom Fighting, excuse me, the uh, Marvel versus Capcom Fighting Collection may release this weekend because they rated it. And so, it's Evo weekend. I mean, this would be a great weekend to say, oh, guess what, guys? It's coming out right now. Uh, you know, they're actually previewing it tomorrow morning at Evo. They're going to have a stream of it and everything, so they're definitely hyping this up. Uh, I get the feeling it's coming out soon. Uh, that would be great. That would be good variety. We get to play a bunch of different versus games. Rather than me just focusing on Street Fighter 6, it would give some well-needed variety around here. But uh, we got to see what happens with that. Okay? All right, everyone. So, let's hope for the best tomorrow with Kanitsugami and Lobby with Brian and Street Fighter 6. Please have a good night. See you then. Peace out.